Bhagavad Gita verses 2.24 to 2.25. He is unmanifest and inconceivable, and being free from the six types of transformations, such as birth and death, he is immutable. After understanding the soul in this way, it is not proper for you to lament. Sar Artavarshini The soul has been described as indivisible, and so forth. The repetition of this indicates the eternality of the soul and removes the doubts of those who are uncertain of its nature. If one says three or four times that there is religion or dharma in this present age of Kali Yuga, the reputation will lay stress on the fact that without a doubt there is indeed dharma in Kali Yuga. Similarly, the soul's qualities have been repeated to confirm the eternality of his nature. Here, the word sarva gataha, all pervasive, indicates that due to his own actions, the jiva transmigrates to all species of life, such as demigods, human beings, animals and birds. The words stanhu, fixed, and ajalaha, immovable, have been repeated in order to give a clear conception of the stable nature of the soul. The soul, or jiv atma, is called avyaktaha, imperceptible, because he is very subtle. He is called achintya, inconceptible, not able to be understood by mundane reasoning, because he pervades the whole body as consciousness. He is called avikaryaha, immutable, because he is free from the six types of transformations, such as birth and so forth.